Hello everyone, welcome to topic of the day. In today's video, we are going to discuss about lumpy skin disease. Recently, several states including Gujarat and Rajasthan have been battling the outbreak of lumpy skin disease that is a viral infection in cattle. So let us discuss about the LSD virus. The LSD is caused by the lumpy skin disease virus which is a virus of genus Capri proxivirus in the proxyviridae family. Sheep pox virus and the goat pox virus are the other members of the genus Capri proxivirus. So the LSD virus mainly affects the cattle, cow and its progeny and the Asian water buffaloes. Let us discuss how does it spread. The LSDV spreads through blood-sucking vectors like ticks and mites, for example houseflies, mosquitoes, etc. It also spreads through contaminated water, fodder and feed. Mosquito and housefly infestations remain at their peak during the monsoon and therefore veterinary scientists in India blame a very wet July for the rapid spread of infection in Gujarat this year. Now, are humans at risk due to the lumpy skin disease virus? The disease is not zoonotic. That means it does not spread from animals to humans and therefore humans cannot get infected with it. While the virus does not spread to humans, milk produced by an infected animal will be fit for human consumption after boiling or pasteurization as the process will kill virus, if any, in the milk. Let us discuss some of the symptoms of LSDV. The LSDV attacks the circulatory system of an animal and causes vasculitis or inflammation of blood vessels and lesions in various organs like liver, lungs, spleen, lymph nodes, etc. In turn, it causes epidermis, making the outer surface of the skin to get separated from dermis, that is the inner layer of the skin, which leads to the formation of lumps or nodules on an animal's body. Fever, increased mucus secretion, loss of appetite, etc. are among other symptoms. Now, how does the LSTV virus lead to death? The virus causes necrotic vasculitis or death of living tissues in local areas. Such a situation leads to failures of various organs and eventually causes death. Also, the nodules may burst due to outer pressure or friction as the skin covering such nodules is very thin. Further on, the animals may also develop a bronchopneumonia impairing their respiratory system. It also leads to loss of stamina and loss of appetite. If we talk about its prevalence, LSD was long restricted to sub-Saharan Africa. However, over the past decade, it spread to Middle East and Turkey. From 2015 onwards, it has impacted the Balkan region, that is Southeast Europe, Caucasus region, that is the Eastern Europe, and also Russia. LSD entered India, Bangladesh, and China, and since 2019, outbreaks of the disease have been reported in 20 states of India. If we talk about recent outbreak in India, since the first LSD case was reported in April 2022 in Kutch, Gujarat, the disease has spread to 26 of Gujarat's 33 districts and has claimed more than 4,000 cattle heads as of August 25, 2022. In Rajasthan, around 27,000 cattle heads have reportedly succumbed to the LSD virus. So a question arises, can the spread be prevented? First of all, being a viral disease, there is no specific cure for LSD once an animal contracts the virus and therefore vaccination is the most effective tool. Moreover, successful control and eradication of LSD relies on early detection followed by a rapid and widespread vaccination campaign. So once an animal has recovered, it is well protected and cannot be source of infection for other animals. Now let us take up one practice question on this topic. Consider the following statements. First, lumpy skin disease is a zoonotic disease. And second, it is highly infectious viral disease that affects all breeds of cattle. Now which of the following statements are not correct with respect to lumpy skin disease? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So as we know, the correct answer is one. That is, lumpy skin disease is not a zoonotic disease. It does not spread from animals to humans and therefore humans cannot get infected with it. First statement is wrong but the second statement is correct. Therefore, the correct answer is option A only. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.